St. Augustine's lecture on the Gospel of St. John following. But those who received peace to proclaim it to the people have made wisdom herself an object of contemplation, so far as human hearts could lay hold on that which I has not seen, nor ear heard, neither has ascended into the heart of men. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 If it has not ascended into the heart of man, how has it ascended into the heart of John? Was not John a man? Or perhaps neither into John's heart did it ascend, but John's heart ascended into it? For that which ascends into the heart of man is from beneath to man, but that to which the heart of man ascends is above from man. Even so, brethren, can it be said that if it ascended into the heart of John, if in any way it can be said, it ascended into his heart in so far as he was not man. What means was not man? In so far as he had begun to be an angel. For all saints are angels, since they are messengers of God. Therefore, to carnal and natural men who are not able to perceive the things that are of God, what says the Apostle? For whereas you say, I am of Paul, I of Apollos, are you not men? 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 4 What did he wish to make them whom he upbraided because they were men? Do you wish to know what he wished to make them? Here in the Psalms, I have said you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Psalm 82 verse 6 To this then God calls us, that we be not men. But then will it be for the better that we be not men, if first we recognize the fact that we are men, that is to the end, that we may rise to that height from humility, lest when we think that we are something, when we are nothing, we not only do not receive what we are, but even lose what we are. Accordingly, brethren, of these mountains was John also who said, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This mountain had received peace. He was contemplating the divinity of the Word. Of what sort was this mountain? How lofty? It had risen above all peaks of the earth. It had risen above all plains of the sky. He had risen above all heights of the stars. He had risen above all choirs and legions of the angels. For unless he was above all those things which were created, he would not arrive at him by whom all things were made. You can't imagine what he was above unless you see at what he arrived. Do you inquire concerning heaven and earth? They were made. Do you inquire concerning the things that are in heaven and earth? Surely much more, they were made. Do you inquire concerning spiritual beings, concerning angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, powers, principalities? These all were made. For when the psalm enumerated all these things, it finished thus, he spoke and they were made, he commanded, and they were created. Psalm 148, verse 5 If he spoke and they were made, it was by the word that they were made. But if it was by the word they were made, the heart of God could not reach to that which he says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God unless he had risen above all things that were made by the word. What a mountain this! How holy! How high among those mountains 
that received peace for the people of God, that the hills might receive righteousness? Consider then, brethren, if perchance John is not one of those mountains concerning whom we sang a little while ago, I have lifted up mine eyes to the mountains from whence shall come my help. Therefore, my brethren, if you would understand, lift up your eyes to this mountain, that is, raise yourselves up to the evangelist, rise to his meaning. But because thou these mountains receive peace, he can be in peace who places his hope in man, do not so raise your eyes to the mountain as to think that your hope should be placed in man, and so say, I have lifted up mine eyes to the mountains, from whence shall come my help. That you immediately add, My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, let us lift our eyes to the mountains, from whence shall come our help. And yet it is not in the mountains themselves that our hope should be placed, for the mountains receive what they may minister to us. Therefore, from whence the mountains also receive, there should our hope be placed. When we lift our eyes to the Scriptures, since it was through men the Scriptures were ministered, we are lifting our eyes to the mountains, from whence shall come our help. But still, since they were men who wrote the Scriptures, they did not shine of themselves, but he wrote the true light, John chapter 1 verse 9, who lights every man that comes into the world. A mountain also was that John the Baptist who said, I am not the Christ, John chapter 1 verse 30. Lest anyone placing his hope in the mountain should fall from him, who illuminates the mountain. He also confessed, saying, Since of his fullness have all we received. John chapter 1 verse 16 So you ought to say, I have lifted up my eyes to the mountains, from whence shall come my help, so as not to ascribe to the mountains the help that comes to you, but continue and say, my help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth.